Hello the people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting video for you guys today as always and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to set up and use Apple Pay Cash. So we're at our iPhone right now and we know the latest and greatest feature to hit iOS is Apple Pay Cash. This is Apple's new way to send money amongst your friends. Pretty much it's Apple's transition to becoming a bank themselves in the long run. Now, there are a couple things that we need to make sure are in place before we can set up Apple Pay Cash. First off, this is only available to users in the United States right now. You need to be at least 18 years or older. Your iPhone needs to be on iOS 11.2 and you need two-factor authentication enabled for your Apple ID account. So if you check all those boxes and setting up Apple Pay Cash will be very easy. All you need to do is go into the wallet app and you should see a new card for Apple Pay Cash. And if you tap on it, it'll ask you to set up Apple Pay Cash. It tells you that you can send and receive money in iMessages with it or messages with it. So we click the setup button, click continue. It's gonna take a minute for it to initialize. And then we get a return message that our card is being activated. Now, if this is the first time you're activating Apple Pay Cash, you're actually gonna get a terms and conditions screen before this, and you can just click agree to that. Now, if you want, we can go ahead and add money to this card. We can tie a debit or a credit card to it. And let me show you guys how to do that. So we want to go into settings. We want to go down to wallet and Apple Pay. And then if we tap on our Apple Pay Cash card, you'll see that we have a couple options here. We have the ability to add money. So if we add money here, we can just put in whatever we want. Let's say $10, click add can use our pay with touch ID to confirm this payment. It's gonna transfer it from my debit card over to my Apple Pay card. Click done, get a little notification. And there we go. Now we can see that the Apple Pay Cash card now has $10 on it. So now I can go ahead and pay with this if I needed to. So just to check if we go back into our wallet app, we'll see that our Apple Pay Cash card has $10. And now let me show you guys how to go ahead and send that money to someone. So if we go into messages and we start a new message and we send it to someone, oops, and we click the little applications icon, we'll get this new little section for Apple Pay. And here we can either request money or send money. So for example, I can send Sean here, let's say I want to send him $2 and I could show the keypad and get, you know, uh, more specific if I wanted to, but let's say I wanted to pay him this. I could click on pay and then I can go ahead and send this. Go ahead and send this to Sean. Confirm it with touch ID. And then it's gonna send Sean $2. And it's that easy to send money to a friend. Now, let's say I accidentally didn't want to send Sean this money. I can actually reclaim this transaction provided Sean hasn't accepted it yet. So if I go into settings and I go back into wallet and Apple Pay and I click on my Apple Pay Cash card and I go to this transactions tab, so by default it might be on info. If I go to the transactions tab, I will see all the transactions that I've made. And if I click on this pending one from Sean, I can choose to cancel this payment. So let me just go ahead and do that and take back my $2 from Sean. So now this payment was canceled. So like I said, if I realized I didn't mean to send this to Sean or I meant to request instead of pay or maybe the dollar amount was wrong, it's very easy to withdraw a transaction from Apple Pay Cash. And then if we go back into our message, we'll see that confirmed once again that this $2 was canceled. And once again, guys, that's all there is to it to setting up and using Apple Pay Cash. But that's the video that I have for you guys today. If you get stuck on any step, just drop me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. And if you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button and that notification bell right next to it. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.